Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Saturday, November the 17th, 2018. If you're an aggressive gambler, if you're someone who swims against the tide and likes to have in your portfolio some uh, bets that are long shot bets that have an opportunity to um, make a lot of money but that carry a very high risk, then I hope you continue on with this video. This video is not intended for casual gamblers. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now there's an upcoming fight. There's an upcoming fight. It's Joe Joyce versus Joe Hanks. Right now, Hanks is an interesting fighter because Hanks was highly touted early on in his career. His nickname was The Future, right? He then lost. He was unbeaten at the time. He lost to Andy Ruiz, got brutally knocked out in the fight. But people need to understand that Ruiz, who would then go on to challenge for the heavyweight title against Joseph Parker, Ruiz is a guy with exceptionally fast hand speed exceptionally fast, especially at the heavyweight division, right? Hanks had a problem, a big time problem with Ruiz's hand speed. Then of course, Hanks, after losing to Ruiz, fought Derek Rossi, wasn't ready for that fight, lost that fight. Hanks then went into the wilderness for a while, didn't fight for a while, is now coming back to the sport years later. He's fought two or three fights uh, recently and now is challenging Joe Joyce. Now, interestingly enough, Hanks is a 16 to one underdog. That's right, 16 to one. In my opinion, while you're likely to lose this play, let's be clear here. This video is only intended for the kind of people who invest in long shot deals. The kind of people who are still buying gold and silver even in this market. Let me raise my hand there, right? He's fighting an unbeaten Joe Joyce. But understand, Joe Joyce doesn't have exceptional hand speed. He's the opposite of Andy Ruiz. This is an upright, slow punching, just a tad slow fighter who's robotic, who's stiff, who's vulnerable to movement. In other words, if you're the kind of person who can get him turning, things start to fall apart for Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is not defensively blessed. He's not good on his back foot. You obviously have a Joe Hanks fan here in the background. So, let me just say, it's a long shot play. But there is no way, there is simply no way, Joe Hanks should be a 16 to 1 shot to this fighter. Right? The play I like here, and it's throwaway money. It's the kind of bet you expect to lose. But the play I like here is to take underdog Joe Hanks at 16 to 1. Right? You heard right. I'm recommending a double digit underdog. Right? It's a long shot play. Hanks, who hasn't been active might be a shell of himself at this stage in his career. He's 35, but understand, you have a different time clock at heavyweight. 35 isn't that old. 35 isn't that old at heavyweight. Understand, Joyce himself is 33, right? Joyce is 33, and if Hanks is even a shadow of who he was. Okay, if, if Hanks is even a shadow of who he was, I believe he beats Joe Joyce. 
Long shot speculative play with throwaway money you can afford to lose. You should expect to lose. But I like Joe Hanks going off at 16 to 1 against Joe Joyce. Right? Joyce is exactly the kind of robotic fighter who's going to be vulnerable to Hanks' hand speed and movement. Let me point out, too, in my favorites folder here on YouTube, I have a fight. It's a WBS fight from a few years ago, 2013, between Alexander Usyk and John Joyce. Now, under, it's understood that Usyk is an elite fighter. This is the same Usyk who just beat Tony Bellew, right? But you're going to see that as Usyk moves around on Joyce, things open up on Joyce. Right? That Joyce is stiff. Joyce can't make the adjustments. Right? He's a big man who throws a big punch. He is a big puncher. A but he just puncher? he just doesn't have the fluidity. Right? I think there's a hole in this game. I think Joe Hanks at 16 to 1. This fight's going off in about a couple of weeks. I believe Joe Hanks at 16 to 1 is a live underdog, I think, for speculative betters. Betters who take long shots. Right? Um, we'll, we'll coin a term here. Accredited betters as opposed to accredited investors. I believe this is a risk worth taking. Take a look at Joe Hanks. 16 to 1 long shot going up against Joe Joyce. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you if there are any other speculative plays that you want to have the boxing community here on YouTube know about. I hope you leave that information in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.